Hi, my name is Paul Fai, and today I'm very happy to be here at First Baptist Church in Washington, D.C. And uh, today I've got the chance to play this wonderful Austin organ, which is uh, very, very large compared to our European instruments. Uh, packs a lot of uh, nice solo voices and uh, amazing toy stops as well, like real harp sounds and stuff. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you this organ today in this video. And let's start with the great manual. We've got a violon pressed on, sounding like this with some pedal stops. We've got the open diapason. for that, a two-foot, and a grand chorus. Then we've got a shaft to uh, spice things up. Very powerful already. So then we've got a press stunt. Compared to the open diapason, the press down is uh, much softer. There's a four foot voice for that as well. Wonderful. Then we've got a nice flute harmonique on here. which uh, just sounds wonderful and I love that. And that flute actually has a dedicated tremulant, something like this. Amazing. So we've got a burden, eight foot, which is uh, the normal flute. Four foot couple flute. And uh, there actually is no two foot, if I'm correct. That's just the 15th. But this feels more like a principal voice to me. So um, we can combine the eight foot and the four foot flute with the quint. make it a solo voice. There's like a Grossquint uh, 5 uh, one third, which uh, I'm not quite sure what to combine with. But combined with the uh, 16, 8 and 4, it sounds like that. And then we've got uh, two cornets, one uh, normal one, uh, sounding like this, actually very strong. solo voice and then there's a grand mounted cornet 5 um, which is uh, the lower one uh, very uh, deep and powerful then we've got some nice trumpets as well we've got a double trumpet 16 trumpet 8 The clarin four. Combined, it sounds like this. And then we've got a trompet en schemat, uh, sounding like this. I think that's actually one of the stops mounted in the back of the church. You will see that later. Uh, looks amazing. And that's basically um, most stops of the grade. We've got chimes on here as well. Something like that. And if we combine all of these stops, we should get a pretty nice um, 
organ sound out of it. I'll leave the cornets off for now and uh, add the trumpets later as well. So this uh, sounds like that. Shamata trumpet and a posaune. A very impressive sound. So that's a great manual. Let's check out the choir manual. Let's start with a Gamson 60 foot. a principal aid. An octave four. Let's couple it. That's a two foot. And a cymbal. And then we can add some trumpets, the Klein Trompete, just a small taste of the trumpets. <laughs> um, let's check out the flutes first actually, there's a Holzgedeckt. This is a Spielflöte, <laughs> four foot. Very joyful, there's a massage. And an open flute, two foot. The eight foot and the two foot by itself sounds like this. nice and playful. And if we combine the Nassat, the uh, flutes 8, 4, and the Terz, it sounds like this. And if we use that and uh, get rid of the Terz and the Nassat and use the Larigo 1, 1 third, it sounds like this. and joyful. We've got a Vox Humana. It's probably supposed to work with the principal. So almost feels a bit Italian, so to say. We've got a Gamson 8. got a Celeste for this game's horn, sounding like this. We've got a Flauto Dolce Celeste, let's try it with the game's horn. Let's try it with the uh, flute. All of these combined with the 16 foot sound like this. Pretty wonderful. You can actually add some couplers as well. That's the 16 and the 4.
very nice division. <laughs> At least I enjoy it very much. Um, let's actually check out the toy stops because they are very much fun. There is an orchestral harp on here, which is actually playable on most of the manuals, sounding like this. Oh, sorry. Which is probably electronic. I don't know, but it's amazing. There's a normal harp. Which is amazing as well. There's a Celesta, which is an octave higher. Very nice. <laughs> so that's the toy stops, as I would call them. Then we've got some reed stops as well. The Klein Trompeter, which we've heard earlier. There's a, a double tuba major 16 foot. There's a normal tuba major 8 foot. And tuba octave 4. Combined, it sounds like this. Very impressive already. Then we can play the trompette en chamade in the back of the church. As a 16 foot and a 8 foot as well. Combined, it sounds like this. Pretty amazing. We got tremulant, which uh, I will use with the principal, uh, for example, like that. It's not too heavy, actually, or it's not working. I don't know. Let's check it out with the flutes and gamson. <laughs> no, that's fine. So let's combine all of these stops to um, make a joyful noise in this church. Um, I'll leave the tuba, yeah, I'll, I'll put the tuba in for now and just uh, play the whole tutti with the, without the trumpet and then I'll add it very soon. Uh, it sounds like that. <laughs> This trumpet, it sounds like that. And with the uh, couplers like this. Pretty impressive for quite a division. So um, that's very fun to use as well. Well, we've got this one, we've got this one, then we need this one. That's the uh, swell manual of the organ, which is one of the uh, largest divisions as well. We've got a contra gamba on here, um, sounding like this. A lieblich gedeckt, 16 foot. And then we've got a viola da gamba, 8 foot. Geigen principal, 8 foot. Stand four foot. Fifteenth two foot. Plonger five. So it's a very nice uh, French sound actually. We've got a stop by Payson eight. Flute four foot, which is actually a flute harmonique, I think. Something like that, at least. We've got the Spitzflöte eight foot. Very nice. Then there's a Wasseleste. 
sounding like this by its own, but we have to combine it with the viola, of course. Well, let's do the favorite thing I like to do on these American organs. Let's close the swell pedal. Let's add a 32 foot uh, stop to the pedal. And um, let's hear what it sounds like. I've also added the 16 foot as well on this one. There's a swell coupler as well. And also a four foot coupler. Pretty impressive. <laughs> so, it's a wonderful tool to combine all of these stops and get this huge string-like sound. I love it so much. Well, then we've got a flute celeste as well, sounding like this. Without couplers, of course, which is used with the Spitzflöte 8. Could add the coupler as well. soft and lovely. Then we actually got some nice reed stops as well. So <laughs> the, the unusual thing here is that you've got like 32 foots in the manuals, actually on several manuals. So we've got a contrafagado on here. Check out this. That's 32 foot actually. So pretty impressive. We've got a tromba 16. <laughs> We've got the trompette harmonique, uh, clarin forefoot, an English trumpet forefoot, a cornopian, a bassoon 16 foot, and a oboe 8 foot. So I've got like three styles of reeds on there, which is pretty amazing. And then, of course, we've got a Wahoo Men. Which uh, should sound amazing with the tremolo. Let's try it. Let's actually combine it with the uh, strings as well, closed as well, <laughs> and um, let's see what happens. Pretty impressive. <laughs> And then we've got a trompet and chamade, which uh, we've also got on the other manuals. 16 foot as well. Combined. If we combine all these reeds, we actually get like, like a single organ in Germany with these 10 stops, uh, sounding like this with a 32 foot. Pretty crazy. So uh, that's the swell division. We can try the tremulant on uh, some of the flutes actually. Sounds amazing. We've got a stop diapason with that. Sounding like this. Mm. 
with the forefoot. Pretty amazing. So that's as well division. Uh, let's uh, pull out all of these stops very quickly and see what it sounds like. Uh, I'll leave the Shamat away from now and um, add it very soon. Sounds like this. As well, 16 as well. The uh, forefoot. And with the Shamat and basically everything pulled, it sounds like this. absolutely stunning for one division. You have to keep that in mind. So we've got like five of these. It's uh, pretty crazy. So that's the swell division. Let's check out the solo manual, which is over here on the uh, fourth manual. Um, we've got a contra gamba. A contra gamba celeste, sounding like this by its own. And with the contra gamba, Like this, which is very amazing. I've got a cello. With a Celeste, of course. I've got muted violins, uh, eight foot. And an angel voice, eight foot as well. With the violence, it sounds like this. It's very beautiful. I've got a double flute, eight. Which is actually incredibly loud. I don't know if that's a real <laughs> pipe, but uh, it's very loud. There's an orchestral flute, uh, four foot. Combined, they sound like this. That's a quint flute. And a mounted cornet uh, five from the great, I'd say. very strong and uh, very nice to play. So then we've got <laughs> a lot of reed voices. Uh, let's start with the corno di passetto, something like this. That's the double tuba from the uh, great, I think. Tuba major. And the octave. Then we've got a clarinet eight foot. French horn. The English horn eight. And an orchestral oboe. Is very nice as well. And then we've got all the loud stuff, the uh, trompet royal eight foot. <laughs> trompet en chemin. The 16 foot. All of these combined sound like this. And all of these combined, uh, all of the reeds sound like this. Very impressive. So uh, there is tremulant, which works well with the flutes, for example. A 
orchestral flute. Something shallow, actually, with the celeste sub. Let's see. The contra gamba. Without it, it sounds like this. I think I like it better without. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, we've got uh, the nice stops from the, uh, I think it's the choir division. Over here as well, we've got the chimes. Got the orchestral harp. We've got the harp as well. And the celesta. Let's actually combine them just for fun. as well so <laughs> uh, that's amazing so that's the solo manual which is this one and then we actually got a great and as well division as well as pedal division on the um, gallery organ uh, in the back of the church so let's check out the grade of that which is also played on the grade of the uh, main organ here that's a view long we've got an uh, Erzähler eight foot These are very, very soft up here, but in the in the church it should mix very well. You actually got a, quite of a delay as well, <laughs> so it's hard to play like like fast stuff on here with uh, the gallery. Let's see Azela and the Celeste for that. Then we've got an eight foot flute, a flute traverse. Flute harmonique. For the Waldflute too. We've got a principal eight as well. We've got a viola, eight foot. Let's actually try the yeah the pedal works as well. So let's combine this with the octave four and the principal eight. We've got a 15th, a uh, two foot. A furniture. And a sesquialtera. Which is pretty usable. The organist told me that he usually uses that to accompany the congregation because it's like it feels uh, better for them instead of using these, or at least combining it. So um, yeah, that's that. And we've got a swell trumpet. And the uh, trumpet royale, of course. And then, if we combine all of this, we get the uh, tutti of the gallery great. Uh, I'll leave the trumpet away from now. Uh, sounding like this. use the trumpet as well of course which overshines everything here so uh, that's a gallery great and then we've got a gallery swell which is played on the swell as well uh, a war bus a viola celeste with the viola Wonderful. We've got a Rohrflöte, 8 foot. A Geigen Diapason, <laughs> interesting name. Principle 4. A 
an octave two, and a plongeu uh, four. Very nice plano. As a reed stop, we've got a contra trompet, a trompet eight foot, and a clarin four foot. Can combine them like this. And then we've got an oboe eight foot as well. You can use the tremolant for that as well. So the tremolants seem to be very soft here. That is a tremolant, but it's very, very gentle, very nice. Um, the combined with the viola and rohrflöte and the principal, it sounds like this. very uh, soft, uh, warm sound, which is pretty nice. If you combine all of these, oh, sorry, the Spitzflöte is uh, stuck, so can't use it. Um, if you combine all of this, we get the Tutti. Uh, with the 16 foot coupler. And four foot. quite something for a gallery as well. So uh, that's the gallery. And then we've got the <laughs> um, fifth manual over here, which is actually called Resonance, uh, which is kind of a like solo manual as well. <laughs> so uh, not only one, but two solos. And this house is a Zimmerstern. Very nice. A double open diapason. It's very loud over here, so in the church it should be present as well. We've got a violon prestante. An open diapason eight. An octave four. We've got a furniture. Very nice and very sharp. We've got a sharp mixture. Which is very nice as well. So this uh, feels like a good manual to play uh, Baroque music actually because you're hearing it directly and um, it's very nice to have that. We've got a Contra Bordo <laughs> 32 foot in that manual. which is uh, shaking the whole <laughs> uh, cancel up here. Burden 16 foot. A Preston 8 foot. We've got a Hohlflöte 8 foot. Very nice, a Burden 8 foot. Very nice as well. We've got a Cantus flute, four foot. Combined with the uh, whole flute, it sounds like this. Very nice flute sounds. <laughs> what can I say? We've got a Mount Cornet, which is the same used in a solo and the great, I'd say. Uh, we've got a Graf mixture, maybe. Combined with the uh, foundation stops, it sounds like this. If you had the 32 foot, it sounds like this. So it definitely adds a bit of depth uh, to that, <laughs> which is very nice. Well, we've got a lot of reeds on here, and um, we've got a contraposaune, 32 foot as well. Which 
is pretty crazy. We have the double trumpet 16. A tuba sonora 8 foot. Which is actually one of my favorite tubas on here, I think. Clairon 4 foot. Trumpet 8. And a posaune 16. This might even be like like pedal stops from down there, so don't know, could be. Uh, we've got a Contra Fagotto, 32 foot, of course. Very nice. Uh, the Trompette en Chamat, 16 and 8 foot. And the Trompette Royale as well. So that's quite a reed division. If we combine all of that, we get this massive reed sound. It feels so like surreal playing a contraposano only manual. So pretty impressive. Um, if we combine all of the normal stops. Um, we end up with something like, oh, it's a not yet, uh, something like this. <laughs> Combined with all the interesting read stops, it sounds like this. basically like a whole organ <laughs> on that one division, which is uh, pretty impressive. So that's actually all the stops of this organ, at least on the manuals, and at least most of them, I hope I didn't miss too many. Um, let's check out the pedal, which is very interesting by itself, actually featuring a 64-foot posaune, which is <laughs> going to be very nice. And um, let's start with the... Um, uh, foundation stop of the pedal, the super 16 foot, and that's what it sounds like. There's an open diapason 16 foot. Which gets very loud, uh, the low it gets. An open wood 16 foot. A violon prestant 16 foot. A contra gamma 16 foot. One, we've got an Erzähler 32 foot stop. Which is very nice and very soft. We've got a contra bordeaux 32. There is a double open wood, 32, which is pretty massive. Actually shaking the church. Um, well, there is a Gems, no, there's a Liedlich Gedacht, 16 foot as well. So it's very hard to miss stops here when the, when the division is so big. Uh, we've got a Gems on eight. Stop diapason 8. A whole flute 8. An octave. A press 8. Sounding very similar in sound. Uh, a choral bass 4 foot. Cantus flute 4 foot. Stopped flute for foot. Which is very nice. We've got the Tats uh, 315, which will uh, come together if we add all the all these stops uh, together. We've got a Groß Tats 625. Uh, then there's a discount flute uh, two foot. Quint 513 
and a large mixture of forfeit. And then we've arrived at the fun stops, the <laughs> reeds. So uh, there's a Posana 16 foot. Double trumpet 16. Tromba 16 foot. A Corny di Bassetto 16 foot. We've got the Cornopian 8 foot. The uh, Tuba Sonora 8 foot. Okay, see, not working. Uh, the Clairon forefoot, an Obra forefoot, which is actually very powerful, impressive. Um, then we can play the Trompette en Chemart uh, eight foot on here, and there's a four foot version as well. It's going to make a very nice solo stop in the pedal if you need that. And then we've got a Contra Fagotto 32. Got a Contra Posaune 32. Which is incredibly loud. And then we've got a Grand uh, Contra Posaune 64 foot which actually only reaches until C, I think, and uh, uh, opens itself up when you um, like um, add other ones. Okay, well, it seems to <laughs> have some uh, issues, but um, at least it's working somehow, and so that's fine. Um, let's combine all of these stops uh, bit by bit and see um, how this builds up. After hearing that uh, pedal division, <laughs> I've gone through the massive effort of pulling out all the normal stops of the organ, which actually uh, are not programmed in the uh, crescendo, so it's probably going to be a very interesting sound, but uh, well, I'm uh, as surprised as you are and uh, excited to hear that. And we'll actually uh, add the shamats and the, uh, all the very loud stuff um, uh, based back there. Um, while playing and also the captors and um, yeah let's see what we can end up with <laughs> on this uh, wonderful Austin organ uh, in Washington DC and I hope you enjoyed this video please um, leave a comment let me know what you think about this instrument and I'd be very happy to uh, see you on the channel back again and um, I hope you enjoy this uh, interesting uh, improvisation now <laughs>